We are coming to you live from the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange. It's where we have, if not hundreds, up to thousands of people who have thronged this premises. And it's usually a beginning point where people tend to converge various groupings. And this time we have the Coalition for Social Justice who are convening this Kumye Preko demonstration. And it's not only the pressure group that is organizing this, they've had a number of pressure groups as well as uh, individual groupings that have come together uh, from aggrieved customers of men's gold to those who, those who uh, maybe aggrieved with uh, the non-payment they're experiencing with uh, Gold Coast Management Fund, as well as a number of uh, ordinary supporters of political parties, including uh, the PNC, the NDC, uh, and a number of individuals also who feel that they have to uh, affiliate themselves to this event. Uh, I'll speak to a number of them first, but before I begin, uh, let, me, uh, let me just tell you uh, the, the atmosphere here. We have the security who have made themselves uh, felt here. Of course, it's a logical activity uh, as part of the routine maintenance of order, peace, to ensure that the demonstration is undertaken in a very peaceful manner. Uh, usually characterizing such events, we have thousands of protesters that ultimately will converge here before the demonstration or the protest march begins. And uh, we know that we're beginning from here, we'll continue through the main principal street, the Farisco Junction, uh, the main traffic light, just um, through the Cocoa Board head office, and ultimately converging at the Haas Park. That's where, uh, by midday, we hope that they will converge. But uh, we have a number of placards here. It says, Mr. President, please help us now. We also have Men's Gold Saga National Security Threat, and a number of inscriptions on these placards giving the indication of the sentiment, pent up feelings, and what the thought processes are of these individuals and groups that are here. Uh, for example, they said we want our money. Uh, Akufado, do something before you lie. And uh, Nanado, three men's gold customers have committed suicide, they say. But um, let me speak to, uh, what's your name? Francis Ousu. Francis Ousu and Francis Ousu, you represent which of the Co groupings? Coalition for Aggrieved Customers of Men's Gold. Coalition, you're already a coalition. Yeah. Coalition of Aggrieved Customers, men's, customers of Men's Okay, so um, uh, coalition of customers of Men's Gold, they are aggrieved, but your, your, your main reason why you're associating with this event is because of um, the way you find yourself in the current predicament. Yeah. Yes, uh, my brother, for almost one, one year now, Men's Gold customers have gone through a lot as a result of government actions and inaction. And as we speak, we have lost a lot of our members have lost their lives as a result of Men's Gold Saga. And we are here today to tell the good people of Ghana and the president that the time to act is now. Uh, some few uh, times ago, government made us understand that government made us to understand that Unless the, the case involved number one in Dubai ends, he cannot make any... Which government made you to understand? It? Are you talking about the publications in the media? Yes. Okay. And we even heard from uh, the Attorney General. He made it categorical that until men's gold, uh, Nanapia case in Dubai ends, there's nothing that government can what, do about it. And as we speak, we have... We have heard that government... Uh, uh, Is that coming from the Attorney General or, or perhaps maybe the CID sources or those individuals relating to the security apparatus who have been sourced through the story that have been published? It's it coming from those in the, in, in, the, in the security. If you recall, government sent delegation to uh, Dubai when this issue came up. And that is some of the reports that they came out with. And as so you are thinking that if you involve yourself in this protest march, it means that... Uh, the state apparatus government will listen to you more? Yes, they will listen to us more because it seems most of the, mo most of the demonstrations that we did, they did not give us the needed attention or they did not even listen to us. And we are using this platform to let Ghanaians and the government to understand that we are suffering. And the government must act down. Government must ensure that the, our local funds with Namwan in Dubai, government Government will do whatever it takes to bring that money to Ghana here. And by uh, bringing an APM answer to Ghana, we will also go a long way to help us to retrieve our investment. Okay, so how, how many of you are engaged in this protest? We are more than 1,000. 
a thousand customers of men's good are supposed to be converging here today yes. to be part of this protest. Yes. We, uh, our brothers from Takwa are here, from Kumase, uh, Takura Ade, and Accra. They are, they are all here. So, mo, mo, I'm, I'm coming from Kumase. I'm from, you are coming from Kumase? Yes, I'm coming from Kumase. We arrive here around 5.30. And our brothers from Takura Ade, they are also here. Takura Ade? Takura Ade and uh, Takwa to be precise. Takwa? Yes. They are all here. So it is not that we are here to, uh, to joke. We are here to press home our demands. We want government to come out with concrete steps to ensure that we get our investment that are locked up with men's gold. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, so we see a number of individuals here. We'll try and speak to a number of them. But we just also want to, uh, if you can just, um, if you go ahead, you got to find that um, beyond, beyond, beyond what you see here, the, the security, the presence of um, the rapid response team as well as the armored vehicles are all here. But, um, but as we speak to more individuals, we would want to know um, what, what, what they think and, 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 and what, what's your name, sir? My name is Selassie. Okay, you're Selassie. And which of the groupings do you associate? I'm a concerned citizen. You are a concerned citizen. And, concerned and you're concerned because what you, of what? I'm concerned because the media is under attack. Banks are closing down. The president is doing nothing about it. And we as concerned citizens, we are not happy about that. Because our brothers and sisters are losing their jobs. There is no food on the table. Unemployment is going high. So we are very concerned about the situation happening in the country. Especially what is happening to the media fraternity. Some journalists have been killed. Some have been threatened. Some have to run for their lives. And what is going on in the country, we believe that as citizens, we cannot sit down unconcerned. So we have to be part of this group to show to the president and the whole world that we are awake and we are seeing what is happening and we are not happy about it. So we are here to express our, our anger for the president to see in a peaceful manner. In a peaceful manner, yeah. And uh, how many of you and your friends uh, came here today? Uh, I think we are... We are more. I, I can't. I can't. Give uh, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Kaswa. 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 You're coming from Kaswa. Yes. Kaswa. Just as a concerned citizen to be associated with this. Associated with this. But but, but the country is not so bad. Somebody would say um, the the banks. People may have lost their jobs, but according to the Bank of Ghana, the Ministry of Finance, those decisions needed to be taken prudently to ensure that customers' deposits were were safe. We believe that there is some political undertone. We believe that speculation. As you, aware, as you are aware, some of the banks are in court. As you are aware, Unibank is in court contesting that decision. Unibank is not a political party. No. Unibank is a corporate entity oh, yes. that, according to the findings of uh, of, of, of report and, and, and the indications are, are that uh, there were adverse findings uh, against them. The, the actions of the directors were in contravention I with regulations of our... Got to that conclusion, yes. That conclusion has not been driven. That case is still in court. Oh, it, it's, it's based on those conclusions that the actions were taken by the Bank of Ghana. Well, we know we know that the president the president and the, the people around him uh, targeted some people before they came... That's speculation. That's spe no, that is speculating. I'm not speculating. I'm not a speculator. You are in the media space, so you know too well what I'm talking about. I don't know. That's why I'm questioning you. I'm, I'm, I'm at variance with your views and your opinions because yes, I have no knowledge of... You yourself from it, but I stand for what I'm saying. That the president, the president and the people around him are, 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 are taking the country nowhere. So we are not happy about the situation are aware, happening. Are you aware of the cost of uh, uh, putting the banks in this situation? Is that, is that the only why you are here? You are protesting because of the bank? Personally, I am not here protesting because of the banks. I am here because I live about 100 meters from the Kaswa Polyclinic. Just about 100 meters from the completed Kaswa Polyclinic. We have demonstrated severally the building is there. Every Me as residents, yes. you had you had agitated, but still. Yes. They, when you go, they'll tell you, go here, go there, go there. What's the reason that has been alluded to the you know, uh, uh, non-reopening of the place? You know, sometimes when you lie, uh, the whole thing will just tie around you. They've been lying to us. When you go to Nisha, they said they were talking of tiles. Tiles, common tiles, tiles on the floor. Later, they were saying that some, some projects uh, 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 associated, water projects associated to the building was not completed. They kept on saying, and whatever they said, whatever they said, uh, 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 the contractors came out to debunk it. 
Do you get it? So we the citizens, we the people living around the polyclinic, we don't understand the reason why the Kaswa politics. So you are here because you are consensus. I'm a consensus. I'm a worried citizen. Roland, who has died? Roland, take time and go. What do you mean by people are dying? Who has died? The current Kaswa Polyclinic is just, it's just like this place. Before an ambulance can enter, there is total. Is it the one at the junction? The one at the junction. It's, it doesn't serve any purpose. Okay. Your concerns are noted, oh, of course. And we know that's, that's why you are associating with this yeah, protest, yeah, yeah. but, but when we come forward, we'll take you. Um, you get to look at um, what the scenes are. What the scenes are. You get to find out we have leading officials. And that's Roland Walker live from the Obra Sport. We'll be following through with this particular demonstration throughout. Uh, so you've got to stay with Joy News for the latest updates on that. Right now, though, we have to take a breather when we come back. It's show business. is brought to us Ketsi Awake Purified Drinking Water. Becky is here right after this.